Uh, so we have uh, some interesting Tahoes here. So basically what there is, is there's two departments down in Texas. They absolutely fucking hate each other. It's like the Hatfields and the McCoys. And they both love us though, because everyone loves Utilitac. So they're like, give us some Tahoes, but we don't want them to look anything like one another. So over on this side, we got the, the gods and then we have the devils. So you have the Tahoe God and the Tahoe devil. Everything is black the fuck out on this thing. We got blacked out light heads, blacked out light bar, blacked out rims, blacked out windows. This whole thing is 5% limo tint the whole way around. When the lights are off, you can't even tell it's a fucking police car. And then on this side, we have a, you know, standard Tahoe white. Not that we're racist or anything, but I think the black looks cooler. The other differences, this is all wheeling, 100% wheeling. That is 100% sound off. So um, on this car, starting up front, we have two ions in the grill, no push bumper. Wheeling Senator on the roof. This particular vehicle is, is a command or admin vehicle. This is for the guy in charge. That is why we have green corners on the light bar. That way when he's on scene, it uh, identifies this vehicle as the main point of contact for whoever cares. Uh, we also have some wheeling tracers on the side. These are tri-color. Everything is tri-color between these two vehicles. Um, we have other videos explaining the, the functionality and the abilities of the tracers and the Weekend X products. So at nighttime, when you open the doors, they'll like do stuff like illuminate the ground so you can see what you're stepping on. Then we have the Argus on the fender. The Argus is a uh, Wheeland product that allows you to mount a spotlight rather than drilling through the A-pillar, you can mount it on the fender. And then you uh, actually control it with a paddle on the inside of the vehicle. And basically wherever you put this wee little paddle here is wherever that light's gonna point. Uh, in addition to that, we also have integrations with it to where we can make it as you approach an intersection, you can have the Argus do a sweep function that not only offers a side to side function as you're approaching oncoming traffic, but it also flashes. Uh, that is the home position. And then obviously as soon as you move the paddle, it goes right back to where it was. These lights are very uh, rugged, a lot more than you would think. You can sit here and abuse, beat up these things all day long. They don't care. The controller is a rotary knob controller. This is a VSX console. If you are not getting a VSX console in your police car, especially Tahoe's and uh, Explorer's, the only ones that offer it, um, you're probably insane because it's another $200 and you get a way cleaner, um, way more functional and much nicer platform to um, live your life in. There's a lot of functions with the uh, light bar with your alleys and the takedowns and different flash patterns, but no one cares. We have other videos for that. Uh, we have a freestanding gun lock in the back. Other than that, this thing is no cage, no partition. That gun lock is from ProGuard, offers two mounts for a shotgun AR and a third lock for your pistol. Then in the caboose, uh, we did some uh, hideaways in the reverse lights and some mount uh, T-ions next to the plate. Uh, we put some T-ions under here for some more lighting. We put a uh, Rockland command cabinet in the back so they can put their additional weird frequency band radios that they can put here and here they could have their whiteboard and they could you know, draw a picture, bad guy, good guy, attack, bad guy empty storage for maybe your duffel bag, grab bag type deal. You have a, a box in here that I'm sure is gonna get full of garbage. I mean, it's for what this thing costs, I am extremely impressed with it. I think it is a, a wonderful way to organize all of your junk. This is just not tight because of the, the license plate goes on there. But it's, oh, and there's two under the hatch too. So when the hatch is open, it, that gives you some warning as well. Moving on to the sound off vehicle. Uh, this is almost entirely M-Power 3 wire, which gives us the ability to sync all of your perimeter lights with the exception of the intersector mirror lights. 
and SL runners, which we do have on this vehicle. It's kind of hard to tell because they're, they're tinted, but um, they don't have the ability as of yet to sync with the remaining products. So for this particular flash pattern, we don't have them on. I will demonstrate, oh look, they open when the, the doors open, but I can do a little demonstration here. The, yeah, so you don't get as much functionality with these. On Wheelands end, we can actually program right down to the individual light head as to what they're doing and uh, what color they're flashing and what flash pattern they're doing. Um, with these, they're about a quarter of the price, but you get a quarter of the functionality. So it's a trade-off, but uh, for all the more that you need, I think these uh, $600 versus three grand kind of seems worth it to get those. Uh, Empower 55 inch tricolor light bar. Empower's in the window shroud. Uh, we got pretty much every light that you could get on the rear of this thing. Pillar lights, aero kit, license plate lights, uh, hideaways in the reverse lights, which aren't on right now because those also don't sync. We wouldn't recommend this, but basically they want this thing, when you hit the brake lights, to completely fucking blind whoever's behind them. Um, so if you're behind this vehicle and they hit the brakes, you better be wearing at least three uh, pairs of sunglasses because you're going to get fucking blinded. Every one of these, including the light bar, lights up completely red, 100%. You're going to know they're stopping. That's about it, I think. No, it's, this thing's pretty empty. Normally, all these lights will, sh sh except the pillar lights, shut off when you open the hatch. Um, and then these ones turn on, but because of this specific demo flash pattern, it's, it's not doing that. Uh, so both of these vehicles have uh, vehicle integration features, which allow you to do all of these things, such as the, uh, the, the SL runners lighting up, the door opening, to park patterns, to speed patterns, to uh, the brake lights lighting up. All of this is driven straight from the OBD2 port. I, no one cares. You're an idiot if you don't get the VSX console. And your upfitter's an idiot or an asshole if they don't offer it to you. For an extra one to $200, it is so much cleaner. Not only do you get the nice clean trim and, and the, uh, all that stuff, you get a locking armrest. So this allows you to fit a Glock uh, 19 down in there if you wanted to, and it locks. You get uh, the cup holders are included. The face plates and all that obviously are included. This one's the wide model, so you have additional um, storage over here for your pens. Uh, up front, you have a removable tray. This can come out and then you can put in your uh, blueprint or uh, Wheeland core controller. Underneath this, you actually have storage for your pocket jet printer. Or if you don't run a printer, then it's just storage for drugs. For the tablet model Tahoes, this console comes with a um, tablet bracket up on the dash. For the laptop models, it comes with a laptop arm, which we had in that one that comes up out of here with a motion device that you can swing out of the way. It's just super clean, super beautiful. Um, up here we have our, it's just our pamphlet for our uh, lifetime warranty for the customers. Did I say lifetime? Yep, I said lifetime. That's because we warranty our installs for the lifetime of the vehicle. Um, Whelan also now offers a 10 year warranty on some of their products. Sound off still at five years, but I'm sure they'll catch up. Anything else?